There's a big change today. L.A. County lifted the indoor mask mandate this morning, but some places may still require them. CBS 2's Cara Finstrom has what you need to know. Starting today, folks in L.A. County are going to notice a lot of changes with many businesses from theaters to restaurants to gyms no longer requiring folks to mask up inside. Especially when you're doing cardio or you're doing heavy lifting, it's hard to breathe. 24 hour fitness members who took off their masks while pumping up told us they're relieved LA County just passed a masking milestone. They shut down the gym, they reopened them, shut them down, and now that I'm able to take out a mask, I feel like there's some progress. Up until today, folks coming into the gym and checking in had to show proof of vaccination if they wanted to work out without a mask. But under LA County's new modified order, which the gym is adopting, indoor masking is no longer required, vaccinated or not. County leaders are instead strongly recommending it, particularly in crowded areas. I think that I'm going to continue probably to wear my mask in certain places. Indoor masking will remain a requirement for everyone in certain high risk settings like airports and healthcare facilities. And the mandate will stay in place in state schools and child care facilities through March 12th. After that, school districts can opt to keep the precaution. LA Unified is expected to do so through the end of the school year. At 24 hour fitness, some pandemic precautions won't be going away. We definitely have multiple team cleans throughout the entire shifts. Every 20 to 30 minutes, we're wiping down equipment. But with COVID transmissions and hospitalizations dropping and mandates easing, the business is making an important change. Starting March 7th, they'll re-extend their hours and be 24-hour fitness again. Hector Mendez is cautiously optimistic about all the change. I'm fully vaccinated, so I don't mind it. But you are going to want to keep that mask with you because some businesses like Wakamaya Oasis here will want you to wear it in certain areas, like walking through the food line to protect their workers, although you can take it off once you get to your seat. Cara Finstrom, CBS2 News. And remember, for pandemic precautions and recovery resources, we've got you covered. To access all the latest information in one place, go to cbsla.com slash coronavirus.